What's going on everyone? We are here at the Fantex Suite Computex 2018 and we're gonna start things off first with a revision of the Fantex Evolve case. I like seeing revisions of cases because look, it tells the consumer that the company is working to improve things that have already been tried and true. The Evolve X is the next step and let me tell you, it's in the right direction, folks. I know you can't see it just by looking into the case, but there are two systems in here. And you might be wondering, okay, where's the second system? It's gotta be an ITX system. Maybe it's under these graphics cards. There are three of them packed into here, one vertical. The vertical graphics card mounting is supported. And then we have two graphics cards plugged into the ATX system, but the ITX system, the motherboard, and the CPU are mounted up top. And that, I think, is really cool. Especially for streamers, I think this will be a big hit. Maybe not from a price point perspective. You know, building two systems on a PC is never gonna be the first option for most people. Uh, but the idea that you can do that in this case with a simple bracket, what I'm holding right here, and a dedicated power button, of course, will be at the back of the case is a really neat idea. Now the improvements, the Evolve X, don't just stop here. There have been concerns in the past about airflow and admittedly the front panel is quite restricted or was quite restricted. Now we have much more breathing room. The entire front panel actually has been pulled forward quite a bit more talking nearly three times the airflow from the previous model. So on the round this side is where uh, the goodies continue. This is where the Evolve X has truly evolved because now it looks extremely clean thanks to these cable management panels. So this is how a clean system should look on the right side, folks. But the joy of this is that you don't really have to worry about what goes on underneath these panels. Two clips, one on top, one on the bottom. Look at that. I mean, it's it's decent. You get the Velcro straps still, right? So your cable management isn't bad, but when you have a tempered glass panel with these cables and nothing more, it can admittedly look a little rough. So Fantex has solved it this time around by including simple snap to use panels. We have one on the front side and then one on the bottom. Let's see again. Hide your PSU cables, hide your SATA cables, what have you. And the kicker here, you can actually mount drives to the panels. So we have three more SSDs down here. I didn't show it earlier, but we have three more SSDs over on this side. And you can actually mount nine SSDs in here with dedicated SSD trays and up to 10 hard drives up front and down below the basement. So if you're into building you know, masses in typical ATX cases like this, then uh, this one's definitely for you. Uh, and the last thing I wanna to touch up top again, one more airflow improvement. Remember the tiny little slits included with the original Fantex Evolve case? Now we have mesh up top, much better airflow, and there's actually, actually a lot of space up here as well. So if you're you know, comfortable with mounting fans up top, even radiators, having those exhaust or even intake air, you got much more space now to pull that air in or push it out. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Fantex P 600S. It's looking a little rough right now. It's because it's still in production. It was hand welded, uh, but they wanted to bring this to CES to show you guys what it's going to look like when it is actually produced. You know, a few things that are going to be refined, obviously, aesthetically speaking, because it's still in production. But I wanted to show you guys exactly what to expect feature wise uh, in the P600S, starting with the hinge doors, basically the same thing you'll get with the Fantex Evolve X, the same rubber seals all the way around. The hinge is just beautiful and flawless. And check this out, I don't know why I like this the most about this case, but they told me that this was actually quite difficult uh, to get the factories to do uh, properly. And I just, I love it. I don't know why, it's just like a diagonal little indention here uh, with the Fantex logo, nice and subtle but it looks really clean and I'm excited to see it in full production later this year. Now on this side, this is where things get a little, a little weird, but it's a good weird. So sound damping foam on this side, it's a damping, not dampening. I've made that mistake more than once, uh, but just swing it a little more this way. Okay, I'm excited to show you guys this. All right, pull this off. More sound damping foam, by the way. This is something you've probably never seen on a PC case, a traditional PC case. It's actually like a fabric. It's like a mesh fabric, something that you might find on like a pair of sports shoes. But you know what? Bear with me here. It's actually really efficient and it's durable. Yeah. So yeah, if you're still on board with this, just hear me out. It acts as an efficient uh, dust filter. Actually, it's more of like a two-in-one dust filter. And it's also pretty good at allowing air to pass through it. So typical metal mesh around 60 to 70%, actually pretty resistant for what it is, despite being able to see through it for the most part, uh, it does impede airflow in a case like this. So 
with a mesh like this, a fabric mesh, up to 90% of the air being pushed through the fans is able to make its way unhindered through the uh, fabric itself. So it's uh, something that is new. They're definitely willing to try it and I like it because I think it's gonna catch on. Uh, and I think people will be impressed with the airflow qualities of the case due to the fabric itself. So different colors are possible. Obviously it's fabric, you can get it in all shapes and sizes. And Fantex wants to know what you guys think, uh, what colors they should offer. I mean, look, there are so many colors to choose from. People are gonna be pretty picky, rightfully so. They're the consumers, so they get to choose. Uh, but Fantex wants to know. So we're gonna have a poll on Twitter. Might be multiple polls because we can't put, you know, a certain number of options uh, in each of those polls. So be sure to check all of them if there are more than one. Uh, and then you can see that these panels here already have the, uh, the fabric pre-installed. So what they'll do is sell these panels separately uh, with the fabric pre-installed, you know, wrapped around them already. And it just kind of makes it look, I don't know, I think it's a very subtle conservative look and it gives the panels more of a transparent uh, feel. You can actually see through them because the mesh itself is obviously slightly transparent. Uh, so if you have RGB LEDs, maybe RGB fans, an RGB graphics card, uh, like with this one here, the Fantex Evolve ITX, uh, you can see the graphics card glowing on one side, and then you can see some fans glowing on another, because now all of a sudden it's transparent, whereas before it was not. So just a way to spice things up, make the case more your own. Now we are in the secret room of MG Neo cases. All of these behind me, we'll kind of scrub through these one by one, uh, but these are powered by Fantex, but they're their own unique family. They're gonna look a little different. They're gonna, you're gonna see similar features uh, that you would find on typical Fantex cases, uh, but these are gonna be more budget oriented. They'll be friendly from a price perspective. They will not have, you know, all the nooks and crannies of, you know, the fanciness of the Fantex lineup, but they will still be, um, but, we're gonna pause there, but, but they're gonna still look darn good. Yeah. There we go, all right, cool. These are actually full aluminum chassis, which we haven't seen in quite a while from uh, really any major uh, manufacturer. So it's nice to see this from Fantex, or excuse me, MG. Now, uh, these will be priced at around $99 a piece, tempered glass on both the left and right sides. They're premium cases. They're just from a different quote unquote brand, a different family of cases, a different approach to the traditional mid-size tower, uh, and just ways to change things up, offer a bit more competition in an already crowded market. I'm not gonna complain uh, because these look very unique already. And now these are my favorite. So we have the Neo Mini, and then we have the Neo Mini G, or the Neo G Mini. Uh, this one is actually one I wanna talk about the most because you're gonna get for the price of, remind me again, $79, you're gonna get RGB fans, two, right? Yeah. Two RGB fans, sorry, I'm trying to check this up. There's a lot of stuff going on in the Fantex suite today. Uh, you're also gonna get the PCIe riser cable included. This is actually the only way you can install graphics cards in this case is vertically, so it's actually really cool. Uh, I don't mind this at all, especially in an ITX form factor like this. Uh, you mount your PSU up top, kind of old school, but it looks really cool because if it includes these stickers uh, over the tempered glass to kind of hide, you know, the cable, stuff you might not want to see with your power supply. Uh, and then you're gonna, of course, have your motherboard in the back. So this one looks really good. I think this one's a great value as well for what you're getting, the PCI riser, which a lot of manufacturers don't include in cases that support vertical graphics card mounting. You get two RGB fans, you get the tempered glass up front, you get it on the left side, and you get airflow uh, through the right panel as well, which is a unique look, definitely stands out. So in summary, MG Neo is about the value. It's about what you get, it's about the bang for the buck, not compromising on the important qualities of a premium PC case, but also not compromising on the price. Pricing out the consumer is something that a lot of companies do and admittedly don't even realize that they're doing it, but between 69 roughly and 99 US dollars, that's what you can get uh, with all of these cases here. I can't wait to get my hands on at least one of these and review them, possibly build in one, uh, and then give you guys the inside scoop once we've uh, been able to fully dissect these chassis, which admittedly up front look great. That's it for the Fantex suite. Again, a lot, we've been here for a while, but it's a good thing. I like seeing all the new products. I like seeing the revisions in the products, and I look forward to what they'll show at CES and Computex 2019, which sounds really weird to say, but uh, it'll be here before we know it. This is Science Studio. Thanks for traveling with us.